Welcome or welcome back to the channel. So I've just received this Chromebook. It's the 6th Gen Lenovo Flex 3. This particular model has the N4500 Celeron processor, but you can also get it with a N6000 Pentium Silver processor. And there's also a MediaTek based version with the MT8183 processor. So this video is just my initial impressions. There'll be a full review to come and I'll also compare it to the 5th Gen Flex 3i Chromebook that you may have seen reviewed on the channel already. If you follow at MergeDroid on Twitter, you'll have seen I picked this up for just £168. That's about 218 US dollars. And you've got to keep in mind this is a 2021 model that's got support to Chrome OS and updates all the way through to June 2029. So a bit of a bargain at that price. Let's get into the unboxing and I'll take you through some of the key spec and features as well as some of the differences in this 6th gen Flex 3 Chromebook compared to the 5th gen. I'll put a full link to the spec of this particular model in the video's description, but at a high level it's the the N4500 Celeron processor, 4 gig of RAM and 64 gig of storage. You can see already I've got the Arctic Grey color here. It also comes in an Abyss Blue. Um, that's the same color as the fifth gen I reviewed came in if you've seen that video. So just getting through the box now, there was a bit of paperwork you didn't need. Um, there's the UK power plug and then the brick should be here with USB-C charging as you'd expect. So nothing too exciting or non-standard there. Lenovo Chromebooks don't seem to have much to them to open up, but here's what you really want, the Chromebook itself. So let's just get out of the bag. As I say, this is completely brand new. Now, one of the immediate changes and differences in this model is this kind of uh, textured left-hand side to the top of the Chromebook. So you can see there is actually a, a bit of grip, a bit of feel to it there. It is a plastic top this time rather than the aluminum or aluminium that the previous gen had. Um, and you can also see the Lenovo badge there kind of shimmering a bit. Um, there's a bit of a uh, kind of rainbow effect to that almost when it catches the light. Plastic bottom as well. Lenovo uses, I think it's some sort of ABS plastic that does seem higher quality than some others out there. So I wouldn't be put off by that at all. And then over on the left hand side here, you've got uh, power on the left, volume rocker, full size USB-A. And then there's an HDMI port back and then a Kensington lock port. So yeah, they've brought the HDMI port back, even though you can support display out over USB-C with an adapter. I guess some people are just going to like to have HDMI straight out of the machine. And I would say for a Chromebook in 2021, 2022, that's probably pretty rare. I'll show you around to the left hand side of the machine now for the other connectivity. So on the left there, you've got the charging indicator light with the USB-C port next to it for charging and data. Then you've got the second full size USB-A port on the machine, a headphone jack and a micro SD card slot. Not bad at all, really. So quite a good combination of connectivity on the device. Let's get inside, show the keyboard deck and a bit on the screen. So some of the paperwork in there that we don't really need. It's just about some of the Lenovo premium care. Um, let's see. So yeah, this keyboard deck, it's, it is a slight revision from the previous generation. Uh, lots of stickers, as they always like to put in there, being Lenovo. And at least this time they look half straight. Um, and the trackpad, yeah, it's decent. Um, it's not loose like you might find on some cheaper Chromebooks. It's actually pretty responsive and, and nice, as is the keyboard deck. You can just hear a bit there. So it's the shallower keys as you expect on the, the Flex 3i range, um, but it's a slight revision to the keyboard deck before, but still quite nice to use. And you've got that speaker grill right in the middle this time rather than having it underneath. So it should be an improvement, obviously still not amazing, um, but slightly better than having it positioned underneath the machine. And because it's the Flex 3i, yeah, of course, it can move into all these different modes. So you can put it into this sort of temp mode. You can put it into this sort of halfway house mode if you want to watch a, a movie or something. And you can turn it right around into tablet mode as well. You see, obviously, it becomes that extra bit thicker. Um, it doesn't feel too heavy. I thought it was actually lighter than the previous generation, but actually it's about 60 grams heavier. But I think it's just spreading that weight out that much better. There's a webcam privacy slider at the top of the screen. You just toggle it manually on and off and you'll get the red dot when it's covered. It isn't too off-putting. I'm getting used to it already and it's nice to know you've got that control. Performance and battery life seem decent and I'll have more on that in my full review. So please do subscribe and tick the bell if you want to see that. Give this video a like if it's been of use. And in the meantime, do check out two competitors to this Chromebook. So you've got the previous gen Flex 3i and you've got the excellent Asus Spin 311 in this video. Cheers.